Brace yourself, because as of last week, no Joburg-owned ambulance will be seen on the city streets. And this is why. The city of Joburg's emergency medical services are now under the command of the Gauteng Provincial Health Department following issues with the city's operating license. They have uh, taken our licenses, but uh, we are working towards it in terms of our IGR, intergovernmental relations. So we are hoping to resolve that problem as soon as possible. We got a reaction from the MMC of Health, Michael Sun, through Zoom link. This is extremely concerning and certainly not usual, I would put it. Because, you know, in terms of the National Health Act, uh, although um, ambulance services are provided on a national or a provincial level, but it's really managed, they're implemented at a municipal level. Um, it is done across the country. Um, Many of the uh, government uh, ambulance services, for example, the city of Joburg, Tswane, uh, Cape Town, Ikululeni, are all rendered on a municipal level. And this move of the provincial government to provincialize uh, ambulance services is certainly, um, you know, unthinkable because why would a provincial government not wanting to expand the services so it can service more residents. Instead, it wants to centralize this very, very important life and death uh, emergency first responder, uh, responding service. Section 79 Chairperson on Public Safety says the committee has written to the provincial government for clarity. If they take this function, what is it that is going to be the benefit in terms of the city of Johannesburg? Because there are members who are hired by the city who are driving ambulances. What's going to happen to their future and all sorts of things. So we'll be keeping we'll be keeping the Houghton government into their toes in getting the response promptly. So that because of it, 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 it's becoming worry that uh, ambulances have been taken over by the, the Houghton government and then as a city you don't have a say and, and, and I think it affects even the response time. And exactly how has the city's emergency services been allowed to operate without a license? There's a, what they call um, a good Samaritan, good Samaritan Act. So when a person dies or a person is ill, our officials can't say no we can't do that because we, we don't have a license. That is similar to what we call the Hippocratic Oath the Florence Nightingale oath that compels you to assist people. So uh, they, can't, they can't really stay away from people that need their assistance. They, they have to do that. So what does the opposition propose? The only way for us to resolve this is to ensure that we allocate enough budget. We go out there, procure more ambulances. Very importantly, the city must ensure that it has well-trained and properly equipped medical uh, staff members from EMS. Those that range from medical um, practitioners, your, your uh, advanced life support, your, your ambulance operators. We need to ensure that, that there is a good ratio of men and machine to service. You know, if Joburg went out and apply for its own license, we certainly can make you know, the EMS ambulance service and the fire service into a different level.